Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make some things today out of scraps. Now, I have got a ton, and this is just a few of them. This is just some of my smaller ones. So, I've got a ton of scraps, and I want to make some little notebooks. They're little staggered notebooks. Let's see if you can see them. I've got more lights on because it's very dark here today, but hopefully you can see that staggered notebooks and then we're going to stamp on them and I'm going to show you how to color your paper without using any water or anything like that just to get a really pretty look all right let's lay those aside now I use this is just a piece of tissue paper or um what else do they call this like freezer not freezer paper deli paper something like that to put down on my desk and then when i do all this coloring on there then later i can use this piece too now we had quite a bit of this paper left over from when was this left over it was left over from when we did the made it con kits i believe i think that's it so I'm going to use some of this just to make my notebooks out of because I've got a whole stack of it over here. Now I have a lot of different colors of ink. And what we're going to do is we're going to just grab one of our inks. And it doesn't matter if it's oxide or regular. Just grab an ink. It doesn't matter what kind it is. Now this little brush has had green on it in the past, but that's okay. I don't mix all the colors, but this is already dried up. And then all I do is like this that let's see let me tell you now according to what this says this this was a gift to me but according to what this says scrapbook.com has these brushes I don't know how expensive they are now I've had mine for years and I got mine in different sizes I don't know if they have different sizes or if it's just all one size so just go over your paper and just kind of go back and forth up and down Ever how you want it to look. You can even put, you know, streaks in it. Make it look a little bit more like, uh, I don't know, light and dark colored places. And I start off the page and I pull that ink right up to the edge, all the way around. And that covers that edge too. Now you can do this with any kind of paper you want. This is just some that we had cut had to cut down for some kits and you know me I'm not gonna throw it away so there and let me I'm gonna have to turn this light off for a second no nope, let's turn it back on and there's what we get you see I left some light and dark places on there and I know that is hard for you to see with all of the lights that I have on but maybe you get the gist of what we're talking about right there. So it's just some different colors. And you can do the back if you want. I'm not going to do the back on these because the back is really not going to be shown or that important. I'm going to use this green. And all I'm going to do is just kind of wipe this brush right there. Just to kind of get most of that off. This one is peel paint. That one was spiced marmalade. You may could do this with a paintbrush too. Grab you some of those inexpensive paintbrushes and just start brushing your color on. Now, I, this is how I paint using, um, or this is how I dye paper using my inks, only I put. I use the refill. I use the refills for these. Put a few drops in a little container, and then add some water in there, and that gives you your colors that you want. So you can do any color that you've got ink for. Let me see if I can hold it where you can get a little bit of a view. This light is super bright right here. There we go. Maybe you can get that. We'll do a blue one, and that'll show up a lot better. They're showing up really good in person, but it seems like the screen is it's not showing up so great. So let's see. Where was my orange one? That's brown. I had an orange brush here a minute ago. Oh, well. Now, 
Okay, let's do the blue one. And of course, I get ink all over me. I don't know about you. Now, come in from both sides. Like, come in once from this side. Come in once from this side. And if you're coloring a big sheet, just, you know, make your marks any way that you want. I like for the edges to be a little bit darker. So there is our blue. Isn't that pretty? So let's see. I've got, I've only got four here, so let's do some more. Uh, I think I'll do another blue, and then I'll do a brown one and a pink one. Now you may have the little brushes. Let's see. You may have these. I haven't mastered those things yet. I love these. I've used them for a long time, so I'm more comfortable with these. But if you if you can do those others, then just color your paper up with them. Some people can and some people can't. I just don't have the touch. I have a, a heavy hand, and so on mine, I need a little bit more leeway there. Okay, that's I'm going to do a brown one. And if you don't have but one or two of this, don't worry about it. Just kind of wipe it off until it quits spreading and then you use it on another color. You can wash these out just like you do paint brushes. And you can put two colors together if you want. If you notice, I've got a little bit of blue on this one. So we'll just go ahead and add a little bit more blue. Give it some interest there. There we go. I think they turn out pretty. I, I like it. I like the just the easiness of it. When, sometimes I just don't have time to pull out, you know, the water and the everything that you need to do all the coloring. So this is just a quick and easy fix for me. Kind of go in at the ends. There you go. There's another one colored. You can, like I said, you can keep going, make it darker, lighter, whatever you want to do with it. Make it look like you want it to look. Okay. So let's do another. Let's do a purple one. We haven't done a purple one yet. This is. Wilted Violet, that was picked Raspberry, Salty Ocean, and Vintage Photo. Uh, I love this purple. So there is our purple one. Isn't that pretty? Now I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Let's grab a scrap. Just some pretty scrap. And I like some of them I like to have a little bit long. Some of them a little bit shorter. It doesn't really matter. I've just got a lot of different size scraps here. So I'm going to grab one out. Um, let's see. I say it doesn't matter. And then here I go fumbling through here looking. I like that one right there. That's pretty. Ooh, I like both sides. So pick the one that you want to show on the front because, you know, this is going to be on the back. I think I want that to show. And I just fold down a little piece. It doesn't matter exactly how 
big you fold it just fold it fold it straight across and if you rather do this with a uh, scoreboard you can do that too now I go ahead and ink around this it's not something you have to do but I like the looks of it it kind of makes it look finished off and not like just a piece of scrap paper so go ahead and ink around it with whatever color you want then I just take my little pieces here and I think I've already got some over here that are torn so let's do that go in with whatever color you want it doesn't matter it doesn't have to match exactly just go in with your color and then I save these little pieces because I can use them elsewhere now each one you're going to tear just a little bit shorter than the other and depending on which way you want it to look you can tear toward you or away from you I don't mind that white because I'm going to ink the bottom of these but if you'd rather not have the white then you can tear it the opposite way tear it away from you and you won't get that white on there there we go let's do let's kind of do this mixed one here well we'll wait on that one let's do a blue one first and I just kind of lay it down there and lay my finger where I need to start tearing you could use a tearing ruler if make that easier for you and let's put a green one here on top again I'm just gonna tear it like that so we've got our staggered going there okay what color I think I'm gonna put this extra color here the one that's got two colors in it I'm gonna put this one on top there we go and you can keep going and put as many pages as you want you know five or six four or five depending on how long this is is good enough all right then what you're gonna do is just line them up and center them up by your top here and then we're going to use our little Tim Holtz tiny attacher gonna put a staple there and a little staple there and I like to flip it over and always press my staples down because I sure don't want anybody to get their fingers hung on those so there is that now we're going to stamp a little bit on here and what stamp do I want to use I want to use the long one. Where's my long one? Oh my goodness. You wouldn't believe what a mess I have here. Or maybe you would. Maybe you would. Does anybody else make a mess like I do when you craft? Oh my goodness. Now, I am going to stamp this in. What color shall we use? Um, I think just brown, maybe just brown and this is just memento rich cocoa ink all right and these are the Tim Holtz I think this is called what wildflowers yeah wildflower stamp there we go and that just puts a little bit of decoration on the side here and then you flip these up and you've got you know they're just it's on every one of them I think it's super cute I love that all right then I usually put a little something across here you don't have to do that that's just me I like to keep adding a little bit so let's see if we have anything that we just want to put right across the top there a little label will look pretty uh, let's see thankful maybe that would look pretty there let's just do that we'll put thankful there and I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up on the edges just to cover that white core as you know we like to do that and then we'll put that right across there or you can put it over to the side I may put it over 
to the side. That might look a little bit better. I don't like to try to center things up because normally I get it a little bit off center and then it looks like I tried to do that. So to start with, just put it off center and then you won't have to worry about it. You could also add a little piece of lace to the top if you wanted to do that. But there is just another notebook. Isn't that cute? All right, let's make more. I'm on a roll to, and I'm on a mission to get all of my scrap paper used up. All right, let's grab. Now it's better if it's double-sided paper, but if you have a piece like this that is really pretty, but it's only a single-sided, just use it. Uh, let's put a pretty stamp there of some kind. Let's see what this would look like if we put that there. Nope, too big. All right, let's. Let's bring in this big Tim Holtz stamp. And this is from Perspective is the name of this oh, stamp set. Let's see. Oh, that'll do good enough not my largest stamp block but it'll it'll do because I'm not gonna I don't want it to look perfect I just want it to be real light so we'll stamp it off a little bit there we go so that's just a bunch of numbers and then I'll use this to clean my pad off there we go. So that is done. So there will be a pretty background and then we just need to fold this over. And I guess I'm folding it probably about three quarters of an inch. I know somebody will probably ask that. So about three quarters. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a little ink around this. And you could use that orange. That would look really pretty around this. I might go back with a little bit of orange. Let's just do that. It's getting to be uh, cooler weather, fall weather. I'm not a big fan of fall, but I love the cooler weather. And I love fireplaces and sitting around the fire, drinking hot chocolate. All right, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be a good one. So let's go ahead and start out with, we'll start out with a blue one in the background. And see, this is a little bit wider, but it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Just start putting them down. You could color all these the same color. You can color them a bunch of different colors. That is up to you. I like to have different colors in mine, but it doesn't matter. And let's do a little green piece. Oh, I tore that one a little bit too much. Let's tear this little piece off right there. All right, we're going to put one in between right there. And we'll put this pink one in there. And I'll probably do one more just to put on top here. And I'm going to use that orange one. There we go. So there are our little stagger notepads. Like that. I'm going to use my stapler. Put 
that is cute I like that uh, let's see what are we gonna what kind of stamp do we want to put on this one let's see what else we have in here this one might look pretty sorry about the crinkling guys I know most people don't like that that's gonna take up quite a bit of our page so I'm not gonna use the wider ones let's just use this one again you could do any kind of stamping on this doesn't matter I'm just using some skinny stamps just to put a little bit of embellishing over on the sides there we go all right there's that one I think that's cute I really do and I don't know if I want to put anything up there or not let's look let's see if we want to um, We could put that on there. It just says make today great. And that would just um, have a little bit of something up there at the top. I'm trying to think what else I have that we could use on the top that's kind of small, not very big. Or you can leave the top just as is. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I like that. So let's put this down. Grab my glue. And put that over there on that side, like that. And there is another. Isn't that cute? And these will slide down in your pockets or you can glue them down to your pages. Lots of different ways that you can use these. So let's do another. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna keep doing these. I just think they're so pretty. Um, let's try. Let's see. No, I'm gonna try that one. Let's try this paper. That's pretty. Let's see which way's up. That way's up. Oh, I love this on both sides. Whoops. So just fold it over. Okay, looks like I got it a little bit crooked, so let's do that again. There we go. So there is that. Love that B on there. And I think I might go around this with this green, this peeled paint. Let's see, I should have a green dauber here. Oh, in the E-Club kits, I have to tell you guys this. <laughs> In the e-club kits, and I'll, I'll be showing the kits not not long from now. We've got one more little piece that's got to come in, and it's supposed to be here today. But um, you get some of these doppers. I think you get a dopper and then some replacements. So that's going to be exciting. And some Tim Holtz ink, I do believe. So you'll be able to do this if you want to do that. put that back down I don't use these inks for a lot of stamping but I use them tons for things like this and I, I've got refills for just I think all of them so let's lay that one aside I don't think I want to put purple in here with this but I do want to add some pink in and see this one's a little bit wider but I'm not gonna worry about that I don't care it doesn't bother me that it's a little wider now I said that I was um, inking the bottom. I don't think I inked the bottom on those other two. But if you tear your paper where you got that white core, I like to go in and ink that. And it just kind of helps it look finished off. Like I said, you can tear it the opposite way and you don't have to worry about it. 
it's just me all right let's put this one down tear it right there but even if I tear it backward away from me I still like to um, ink the end it just makes it look finished all right let's see what color now let's do a blue maybe and I don't throw away these little pieces because I use those when I make collages or I use them in my little snippet rolls they're just perfect for that and they're already colored up so we'll lay those aside and if you made a teeny tiny notebook you could use them in there let's see let's put that one next and I'm just gonna trim off this top just so that it'll catch in our staple there we go that'll work and what else do, what other color do we want to put on here let's put a piece of brown this is just quick projects and, and at this time of year when everything is starting to get kind of hectic holidays coming up and all that and if you're wanting to make a lot of journals for different people this is just ways that you can make ephemera and things to go in your journals without having to spend a ton of time on them. Alright, make sure that they're evened up. Okay, that looks about right, I think. And then we'll use our stapler and you don't have to use a stapler if you'd rather use glue you can just glue each one in I just like my little stapler it makes it easier but I do encourage you if you use a stapler make sure that the backs are down so that nobody will hang their finger on that that hurts so bad there we go there's that one and let's stamp something on here Huh, let's see what are we going to stamp this time I may want to stamp something different let's look right here I've just pulled out a, a few different stamps it's not a hmm let's see if we put that right there what it would look like I don't know I kind of like that going all the way up the um, page all the pages so let's try doing that one nope that one's a little bit too big I think let's try this one what do you think about this one we could let it kind of hang off if we want to right there all right all I didn't need to do is get a little piece of paper to put right under here so that I don't stamp the back and then we'll use this one to stamp with Put it on the right way, Edith. All right, now what color? Hmm, let's see what color. Let's do a green one. I don't know, we inked around that in green. I don't know why, but we did. Just something different. Okay, now, just gonna let it hang off a little. There we go. Go ahead and stamp the color off of here. I'm going to take that little piece out and put it back in my stack over there. And there is that one. Isn't that cute? I think they're cute. All right, I'm going to lay that over there. And let's see what we're going to use on this one. Let me grab my little material labels. These are some labels that I did just I stamped just on some cotton material. And let's see, let's cut this off a little bit more. This just says treasure. Treasure. I'm sorry, I'm about to have to get a drink. I've talked a lot this morning. And I like to go ahead and fray it a little bit. Okay. 
and yes I like to put a little ink on the edges there we go and then we'll put this down right at the top I'm going to use my Fabri Fix for this and we got in some of the Fabri Fix if anyone wants to purchase it I will have that link below I think I've already got it loaded in the shop if not I'll have it listed below we also got in gesso collage podge uh, what else did we get in matte medium I think I'll try to have all of those loaded up when the video is over I'm just gonna kind of put that one right there doesn't have to be centered up it's fine whoops I slid it there we go cute and there's the little Isn't that cute I, I love them like I said it's a great way to use up all those scraps that all of us have you know you do I do everybody does all right we're gonna pull this back over let's do let's see let's do a little short one well this is not gonna be too short but it'll be shorter than that one and this is a pretty material <laughs> And this is a pretty paper. Now all I did, all I do on my paper is when I have scraps, I go ahead and kind of cut it, you know, cut all the odd shapes off of it and just kind of make it, you know, a, a square or a triangle, whatever. And uh, then I know I'm ready to use it when it comes to that. When it comes to things like this, I know it's ready to go. All right, we'll put that one down first. Put that one in there. And we need a pink one in here because this has pink in it. I think that's pink. It looks like pink. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can tuck that up there. And then I'm going to tuck this in there. And I, on this one, I just took a baby wipe and made little dots. It pulls some of the ink off when you do that. Just to see what it would look like. It worked great. so there are let's see that's four and I may not even do another one let me look hmm kind of got all of those colors together back there I need to put a blue one in there somewhere so let's grab this blue one right in here to kind of break up the colors to tear this one off a little bit more and then that one you can also spritz these with water after you put your ink on them and it will make little like little water droplets on there too on the oxide ones anyway I know don't know about all the others Yeah, I think that looks better. A little bit more staggered than it was. All right, I've got something that's holding me up here. Now, that looks good. So there we go. We're going to staple that just like that. Just make sure you put your staple in far enough that you're catching all of those pages. Now on this one, I think we'll put a little piece of lace. Just want to see what it looks like. kind of like that you can see the flowers in the background so yeah we're just gonna put it on it's different that's what we like isn't it we don't like the same thing on every page 
did you watch me leave this open and now it's clogged? I know you did. And you said, Edith, close your glue up. And I didn't. And you know if we've got lace up there, we want to put a little piece of our trim. That is cute. I like that. I think we may put more lace on some more of them because that's pretty. And I think I'll just stamp this down there. Where's my stamp block? Nope, that one's not long enough. And what color shall we use on this one? So we got that. I think I'm just going to go with brown on this. Since there's so many colors in that. There we go. I've got UPS coming up. This has been Grand Central Station today. FedEx early this morning. Uh, mail. And now UPS. There we go. Isn't that cute? So we have... I'm going to do two more. I've done quite a few. But uh, I'm going to do two more, I think. And I've got some that are narrow. A little bit narrower than others. And I'm going to put those here. Then I'm going to put some here. And then I went ahead. I have this little piece of paper bag on my desk. So I just went ahead and put a little blue ink on that. So I'm just going to split that right down the middle. And then we'll put that in there too. So let's see. We'll put this one on the back, I think. Then I'm bringing a little of that green, maybe. Let's see which ones are wider. We want to put the widest ones on. Well, those are all the same, I think. Okay. So we'll put a little green up here. And then, then we'll put a little blue in there. That's almost the right length. We'll cut it just a little bit. Blue. Then let's do a little piece of pink. Well, we I'm going to have to do the bigger ones first. 
So we'll do that green and then we'll do blue again. Save that piece. Put that there. And then I'm just going to put this little piece of pink in there. It's narrower than the others, but it doesn't matter. It'll still look cute. There we go. So we're going to put those in there. And you can just kind of even them up or you can stagger them back and forth. Any way that you want to do these, it doesn't matter. It all looks good. So I'm not going to try to make mine too perfect. I'm going to leave them about like that. And I love this piece of paper. That's the last little piece of that paper that I have. Okay, and look at my background, how it's, I'm gonna be able to cut little pieces of that and use it. So there is that one. And I think I'm gonna put a little piece of lace on this one. See what we have over here. If I can just grab real quick. When it comes to me and lace, there is no quick grabbing because I want it all. I like it all. Let's see if we could do. Put that on there, maybe. What do you think? Like that one? I like it. Let's put that on there. Scissors. There we go. Cute. I like that. And then I think I'm going to use. What am I going to use? Mm, sorry. But my lot. It's a little piece of this trim to go up here on this one. I think that would be cute like that. So let's, and you could put little flowers up here at the top or different types of embellishments. I'm just keeping these pretty simple. I'm not going to doll them up too much. There we go. See? Cute. And so there's another. And then I'm going to do this one last one here. And then that's going to be all I'm going to do tonight. And that's a lot. I'll show you in a minute how many we've got done. All right. We'll start with this. I'm just going to tear it right there. This is going to be kind of a short one. But that will be fine. We'll put more pages in it since it's short. I better close my ink up. Uh, we'll put the pink one next. We'll just have to trim it off just a tiny bit. Then I think I'm going to no. We'll come in with the green first because I'm going to get all my wide ones at the back and then I'll put the narrow ones close to the front. There we go. Then we can put a little brown paper bag there. that right there. Put a little piece of this there. Whoops. Cut it off a little bit more. Alright. So 
So there is that one so far. Let's go ahead and staple it down. I like that paper too. Um, let's see what ribbon shall we put on there? Or what lace? Got a little piece of this left, so I think I'll put it on there. Then, I don't know that we want to put anything on this. It's kind of small, so I'm going to leave all of that room for writing. So let's show what we have done. I'm going to put these up out of the way. Well, I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to put them somewhere. And then we're going to grab the ones that we've done. And I did a few before I started the video, so... Oh, I like that, so I'll be able to use all of that. All right, so there's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> We've got a lot. I like it. And I've still got plenty of scraps that I can do. Lots more of these. Look at this. I love these long ones, too. I can't get them all in frame, I don't think. There we go. We have got, let's just see, let's count how many we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that we have done in just a very short time. So isn't that neat? And to me, they're cute. You can use these in your journals. They will be absolutely adorable in there. Lots of fun to make, too. I'm using up scraps. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.